What's up, guys? It is Jay Beeps here, and, and we are back with another episode of the New York Giants rebuild. Last episode didn't go too hot for us. Started the regular season, didn't start good, but we started it. And we are looking at many of these third round players because we have two third round picks. And if we are able to get a big steal late in the draft, you know, these, I mean, really, these mid round picks is really where we can, we do most of our damage. We will work, actually, let's check out, we should, we should probably look at some of these contracts. All right, so, yeah, I'll take Slayton for another four years, without a doubt. Okay. See, the nice thing is, you know, we, we do all these star players that are looking for new contracts, but we also have a bunch, bunch of cap room. So we can go out, we can really hit the free agency market this year. Like, I think if this year isn't our year to contend, I mean, I thought last year was, but if this year isn't our year to contend, the year after that has to be. Because Saquon Barkley, Evan Ingram, and Slayton are going to, they're, they're starting to get a little bit older. You can improve your team. And you know, our young players are also, you know, they can only, they're only going to keep getting s so much better. We're, we're, we're nearing a wall. And we're kind of nearing that team potential, which is why, you know, I'm trying to freshen up the team a little bit. Bring in some of these different players. Bozeman with the upgrade. It's very nice to see. Alright, let's go ahead. I also feel like just with our draft picks, and there's just something in me that feels like next year is going to be year we go over that hump and we finally make it to the Super Bowl. And we should win as well. You know, I'm, I, I don't like losing. I especially don't like losing a Super Bowl. And I tr I do not plan on doing so. But can't even worry about the Super Bowl if we don't even make it to the playoffs. That's also an issue because we are in a very good division. Pri prior to what it was like in the real world at this most recent time. Our division is one of the premier divisions. Washington has gone to the Super Bowl two times in the time that we've been doing this rebuild. And they're a pretty good team. The Cowboys have also troubled us in the past as well because they are also a very good team. The Eagles, I mean, they're not that they're not they're not a good team. But it's just they're still a division opponent, so those games you never know what's going to happen. I'm a big fan of the Steelers, and in the AFC North, you never know who's going to win any time they play. Alright, come on. We need to get Mullen 320. Okay, we just need Mullen to play his best game he's just about ever played. We'll commit to slowing him down. Can we please just... Mullen's had like three chances now to get... He's had three chances to get Superstar. Like one thing I don't like about Madden is this whole like breakout game thing. Like it... They shouldn't have to play two like amazing games in a row to go from star to Superstar. Like, they should simply, it should just be, oh, they're playing very, very good this season. Like, they should just earn Superstar. They shouldn't have to play a, they should, there shouldn't be, have to be, like, a breakout game in order for them to solidify themselves as a Superstar. Like, guys don't just play one good game and are automatically Superstars in the NFL. It takes time. Darius, I literally hate you. 
Oh, yeah, we need to sign to Holiday. No, I want him on a four-year deal. Actually, no, we'll settle for three. All right, so we want some more salary. Randy Benedict. Well, yeah, we're losing Slayton. Benedict will stay. I don't see who else is there. Not really any big cap hits. We can afford to get homes. Yeah, we still got a really good, really large amount of cap room. Actually, we should coach. Spend coach XP. We want to get. You know, we want to get wide receiver free agency influence. Because, obviously Slayton's going to leave. We're going to want to get big, big time. We're going to want to get a big time wide receiver. You know, I'm looking like, like a Tyree kill. Alright, come on. Please, Mullins have an amazing game. 56-25 plot. 56-24. I don't think he got it. Uh, yeah, he didn't get it. But, you know, that's what you kind of expect. Yeah, we stop Chase Young. By a week, yep. Let's um rest and relaxation. Yes. I th I think I've only ever in my life chosen rest and relaxation. I don't think I've ever chosen extra preparation. Now let's take a minute to see how I, you can improve as a your former team. athlete. I know. I, anytime we get like a week off, or like a weekend off from a game, oh, I don't do anything. I usually just sit around and enjoy not being tortured, essentially. Alright, free agency again. The bonus and duration, but it's not the salary. So what if we bump up to 3.3 mil? How about now, Dakota? Yep, welcome back. Oh, yeah, I should add... Oh, no, I won't add Slayton to the trade block. I think we have a chance. Like, I don't, I don't know how... I haven't done many... I'm a big fancy draft, like one season and done kind of guy. I haven't done many franchise modes. But I wonder what it's like if, if we win the Super Bowl, will Slayton want to come back then? Because, I mean, realistically, we win the Super Bowl. Everyone should theoretically want to join our team. You know, we're the former Super Bowl champions. You know, I, that, that could just really be the big pitch. You know, we're just going to run it back. Oh, yeah, we're going to add you change up the team and just run it right back you know, that's a that's a pretty good bargaining pitch because you know I would I would like to have another Super Bowl to various Fox as an upgrade Dantzler plus five awareness jeez Sector half back is that McCaffrey, right? Yep. Um, neutralize him. We have an amazing deep. We have very good defense. All right, let's go see if we can snag some fourth round steals. We already scouted the entire third round. Another thing with men franchise bone, which makes no sense, is the fact that there is there's always a defensive tackle in the fourth round or later. That's a first round talent, without a doubt. Every draft, there's at least one. All right, Hernandez, you have been a very good player for us for a very long time, and I would like to keep it that way. Salary needs improvement. All right, Yodam. Uh, can I see entire rosters, or is this gonna sh just gonna show me the players, the contracts? Yep. Um. Yeah. Well. Okay. Yeah. We'll sign him to a one-year deal. All right. All right. Come on, boys. Let's beat the stupid Panthers.
Let's go. So, wow, we actually held him to 150 yards, apparently. You be good lords. Who's got who to play good? Bradbury, 10 tackles and a pick. Not bad, not bad. Alright, well, that's going to conclude this episode of the New York Giants Rebuild. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you can see future episodes and also check out on my channel the previous episodes in this series. I hope you all have enjoyed. And I hope to see you all again. And until then, it is JB's signing off.